Hey everyone, this is Nemo and in today's quick tip we will see how to add the product price as well as an add to cart button to the viewed products block in PrestaShop. So the first thing we want to do is uh, to assign the price variable in the module's PHP file since right now it's not enough to simply modify the template because there is no price assigned to it at all. And for this I will use an override just to avoid my modification being erased on the next update. So. I will create a new folder inside override modules and I will call it block viewed. Just making sure I'm not misspelling it. Block viewed. Okay. And inside it, through my editor, I will create a new PHP file. So in my root override and modules block viewed, I'll call a file block viewed.php. Okay, and I will open PHP tags, and this is gonna be my main override file, so I will start by adding my code. Class block viewed override extends block viewed. Okay, good. Now what I'll do is reach back to my root modules, block viewed is a bit out of screen but it's here block viewed okay and i'll open up the main php file for the module and i will look for hook write column which is the, uh, the um, method that assigns the list in this case and i want to copy the whole method okay so i will copy this one and make sure you grab the one present in your file of course since this might be different and we'll just paste it in my override. Now I will look for object name. This one, it's line 47 here in my override. And right after this, I want to assign my price. So obj arrow price equals product, we'll call a static method of the product class, which is called get price static and we'll pass in the object ID okay now um, I am getting this price with tax so in case you want it without make sure you pass in false as second parameter okay all right so time to deal with the template I am using uh, the default one here so the path to my models view is themes default bootstrap modules block viewed and this is the template file block view dot tpl now at this point um where to add the price is entirely up to you so i will drop it right after the prep description i think so p class price and I will use a function, a helper function, Smarty has. So convert price, price equals viewed product, product arrow price. All right, let's see and see if it pops up now. Good. Uh, in case it, it doesn't for you, make sure you reach the back office and clear your cache since I am leaving it disabled uh, while testing. Now, um, for the next part, and which is actually the last step, um, adding the add to cart button. So here we go. After the price in the template, I will add an anchor tag and it's going to have a class named button ajax underscore add underscore to underscore card underscore button make sure it really has this class if you're using the um ajax card btn btn dash the default okay then the href is going to be a bit complicated so pay attention uh link get page link and we need to get the card and then true with I believe this is uh, SSL 
if I'm not mistaken. I just learned, learned it by uh, heart. So I will escape this, or I could actually no, I will just keep it simple. Okay, href the link to the cart page. Okay, then um, it, re it needs a uh, rel equals no follow. Then, uh, well, the title I will just use um, the language tag ls. So ls equals add to card. Then it's going to need for the Ajax card uh, data ID product, which is going to be the viewed. I think it needs to be uh, no viewed product um, arrow again ID and we'll cast an integer type cast an integer so int val good and then we're also gonna pass in the uh, data ID product attribute which is gonna be zero in this case ID product attribute is gonna be zero all right then inside the anchor tag, I'm gonna use a span and I will copy this add to card. Okay, add to card. If um, when you test this doesn't work, you can simply open up product list.tpl and copy the add to cart button from there and then change the variables from I think it's product to uh, viewed product in this case. Okay, so I will refresh. And here's my button. Now, let's see if everything works. Yep, good. It does, nice. So, uh, we're done. This is everything for today's video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for more great PrestaShop tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.